Hi everyone, it's Mary Beth, and I wanted to come and share a few things with you um, that the Lord has laid on my heart about how I'm spending this time of quarantine, this time of um, forced stillness, if you will. Um, I think about the story of Mary and Martha and how when Jesus comes to visit them in Luke chapter 10, um, Martha is a doer and she is going and she is preparing all these things and making sure that um, everything is taken care of. And Mary just plants herself in front of Jesus and just listens. Um, I tend to be a little bit more like Martha and I um, have spent these last two weeks doing things that I've always said I was gonna do if I had the time. Um, cleaning out a storage room in the basement, giving her house just a good deep clean. And those aren't bad things. Those aren't bad things at all. Um, but in the story in Luke chapter 10, Martha gets really agitated with her sister and goes to Jesus and says, don't you care? Don't you care that um, she's not helping me? And Jesus tells her, I'm assuming very gently, um, Martha, Martha, you were so worried about so many things, but Mary has chosen the best thing and that won't be taken away from her. And I think about those projects that I've done, um, the organization and cleaning of the storage room and the cleaning of my house. All of those things are gonna get undone eventually. Um, and I think about what the Lord said about Mary sitting at his feet and listening to what he has to say. And he said, that won't be taken away from her. And so the Lord just pressed onto my heart. These things that I'm doing that are good, I'm taking care of my house, I'm um, you know, cleaning, those things, are, those things are good. But the things that won't be taken away from me is sitting at the feet of Jesus and digging into his scripture. Um, Psalms 1 says um, about the happy man and the two ways of living is that the happy man delights in the Lord's instruction and he meditates on it day and night. He is like a tree planted beside streams of water and bears its fruit in season and whose leaves do not wither. Whatever he does prospers. And I'm just gonna encourage you, church, that while we are sitting in this time of quarantine, while there's not a lot of responsibility for us to do, things have kind of all been put on pause, there's no sports, there's no stores opening, there's no travel um, happening, that we really dive into the things that won't be taken away from us um, when all of this is over, which is sitting at the feet of Jesus, digging into his to his word um, and just drawing nearer and nearer to him. Um, scripture also says that when we draw near to God, we find the peace that goes without understanding. And I think that there's a lot of things that we aren't understanding right now. And so my encouragement to you is be a Mary, spend more time um, than you normally do with Jesus and, and reading his word and talking um, to people from church or small group or whatever, but spending time um, reconnecting or connecting deeper to the Lord. Um, I hope you guys are staying healthy, staying safe, um, and I sure do miss meeting you guys all together at church.